We've gotten to the point as a society where knowing how to position a wireless access point properly has become a necessary life skill, but one that surprisingly few people really understand. So let's look at WAP placement considerations. We had originally filmed this episode by going into a local house and setting up a wireless network for the owners. But to make a long story short, there was a misunderstanding. And now the police have all that footage. And also our sound guy. So instead of a real house, we have here a Barbie dream house. Barbie, sick of being confined to a desk for her computing, has decided to purchase and install a Soho wireless router like this one, that combines a switch, router, WAP, and more. In her mind, dance visions of browsing Pinterest on her tiny iPad while lounging by the pool, or of firing the CEO of Mattel by email from the plush comfort of her bright pink couch. But where should she install her router to get maximum coverage for such a large house? There are several considerations here. The first thing Barbie should think about is interference. Certain household devices operate in the same wireless spectrum as Wi-Fi, so if Barbie places the router next to her microwave, for example, it could cause her internet connection to drop every time Ken microwaves a burrito. Bluetooth devices and even baby monitors can also cause interference, so Barbie shouldn't position her router near an infant wearing a wireless headset either. Barbie should also make sure her wireless network isn't set to the same channel as her next door neighbor's network, since competing wireless signals can also be a troublesome source of interference. Next, Barbie should try to find a central location for the router. Most wireless access points broadcast signal in all directions, so a central location is almost always best. If Barbie had concrete floors or some other sort of signal dampening construction material in her multi-story house, she might have to look into alternate locations or even using multiple WAPs connected via Ethernet. Fortunately, her house is constructed entirely of thin, brittle plastic. So the only thing she has to worry about in that respect is property value. Once Barbie has found a nice central location away from sources of interference, she should grab her laptop and perform a site survey. A site survey consists of getting a laptop, firing up a program like Insider, and walking around the house to see what kind of signal you get. If the signal is too low in an area where you want network access, it's time to move the WAP. Insider also displays info about surrounding networks, so Barbie can double check that she's not sharing a wireless channel with anyone. So there you have it. WAP placement, a simple subject that gets asked about more than almost any other NetPlus subject. As a tech, it pays to know how to do it properly.